there has been a, an important systemic change in polling that has really kind of compromised the ability of phone-based political research. So number one is just a replacement of telephone technology. People are dropping their landlines and they're using mobile phones. Uh, and two is declining response rates across all forms of survey measurement. It used to be 10% of people that you would call would answer a survey. Now it's 1% of a pe people who answer a call or even less. So that's a phenomenal variance in response rates that you have to take into account. And if you don't know what it's likely to be, your measurements can be way off in terms of the panel of folks that you're getting. What does this mean for kind of survey and polling research that companies do, which is the principal means that they use to understand consumer attitudes and behaviors? A few things that, that uh, you need to think about. First is, you know, we work with a lot of companies and survey research is often presented as a set of bars and charts and PowerPoint. If you're a company, you need to kind of invite healthy skepticism into the process and say, what is behind these bar charts? How was the data collected? How representative is this of the general population or of my consumers? Is there any bias present? What is the projected uncertainty around these bars and the PowerPoint chart that I'm getting? Because if the uncertainty is wide, I need to know that because that's going to help me interpret whether I go whole hog towards this or whether or not I have a more kind of risk abating strategy. Um, so I think you know, what people need to do is, is one is build literacy into their organizations in terms of understanding it. Two is healthy skepticism towards what it actually means. And then finally, I think you know, this is how our company is interpreting that, is we need to make some big changes in how this type of research is done. We're making changes in terms of moving more towards multimodal research using kind of controlled online panels that we can use to assess this. We're trying to join that to larger bodies of you know, population level consumer files so that we can detect where those biases occur. Companies, whether it's with their consultants or the consultants themselves, are gonna have to think deeply about how they are revising their survey research to take these biases into account because they are structural and not just unique to the political sector.